This is a brief introduction into Talk Tablet for iPad. From my iPad, I will just touch the Talk Tablet. This is a vocabulary that's built in that comes with the software, but you can create as many vocabularies as you want. For example, if I hit Settings here at the bottom, Current User is default. That's my sample one you're looking at. But I could add a user. Let's suppose I have a, a little girl named Madison, and I want to create from scratch a vocabulary or page set for her. I touch Madison and there we have a blank page to begin with. Let's go back just so I can show you first a little tour of Talk Tablet. Let's choose our default user to start with. Okay, so we have a number of categories already set up. We call this a page of buttons and a page of buttons can have from one button to as many as 15 columns by 15 rows. So you can make it as simple or as elaborate as you want. It includes 12,000 symbol sticks, pictures, and color. The full library is included. It includes the Neo Speech Voices as well. Greetings. Guess what? I see you're busy. And those are the premium quality. Um, high definition voices from Neo Speech. They come with male or female in English. We also include Latin American Spanish as well, and they sound just goodbye. Fantastic. As I touch a button or button, it appears up here on what we call our sentence bar. If I touch my sentence bar, guess what? I see you're busy. Goodbye. Yes. No. So a button can say something or it can do something. Like go back to our home page. Now we're back to our home page. Um, this is a sample vocabulary that's included with it. You'll see there's a backspace button here as well. So, for example, if Greetings. I was talking. Good morning. Have a nice day. If I press my backspace button, it will delete that. If I. Glad to meet you. I have something to say. I see you're busy. If I want to interrupt the speech or stop it, if I touch it to start speaking and, and press it again, it will stop. Glad to meet you. That's how I can stop the speech. So here we have a page of four by four buttons. Home page. Here we have a page of four by four. If I go into at my, at school, my school, we have a three by three. I can make the borders invisible. I can make any border on any button any color I want. I can make the backgrounds on any one of these buttons the same or different. The fonts can be the same or different. The pictures you can change, obviously. What's spoken by the buttons can be the same or different. Let me give you an example, though, of how simple it is to create a new page of buttons. Let's suppose under food and drink. Food and drink. I want to create a button called fruit. And I will hit edit. And I will, when I hit edit, the last button on the page will have a little green plus sign. If I touch on that button, and I can move it later, New button, new page. Do I want this to say something or do I want it to open a new page of buttons? Which we do. We want to create a page of buttons called for different fruits. So I'll choose new page. So it's asking me what's the, the label that will appear on the button and we'll call it fruits. Do you want it to speak? So when I touch that button and it opens up that page of buttons to do with different fruits, do you want it to speak or not? Yeah, sure, let's leave it speak. How many rows and how many columns? Well, let's make it well, let's make it five rows and six columns. If I want to get rid of this um, keyboard so I can see more of my, my choices here, I just press this down arrow here on the keyboard, and this expands that, and I can go through here. But basically, that's all there is to it. Um, rows and columns, margins, and I can change these at any time. So if you put rows and columns five and six and you decide later I need more or less you can change it you won't lose anything the margin is the space between the buttons and let's make the margins 15 select the symbol okay this button is going to be say fruits so let's pick a symbol there are 12,000 symbols included and to find your symbol just touch here on the search box and I'll just start typing fruit f-r-u-i let me move my keyboard out of the way. Here's all the symbols that start with F-R-U-I. And I'll choose fruit. The 
page background. Do I want the background of this button to be a different color? Yeah, sure, let's make it yellow. The text, the fruits will be, be in black. That's fine. The border, yeah, let's make the border something wild just to show you. Now we have a, it'll be a red border. And the border width, it says 2, but let's make it big. Let's make it, I don't know, 10, just to show you what it can do. And let's make it in bold if we want. That's the font size. If I want the label, if I had a longer label, I could say fruits and vegetables and have it on two lines. I could just turn that on or off if I wanted to. But that's really all there is to it. Just give it a label. And describe what kind of a layout you want on this page. Give it a symbol and hit done. There's your new button. If I hit done one more time, I get out of this edit mode. There I have a button that says fruits with the yellow background just like I asked for. Now when I touch it, Fruits. there's my empty page. Okay, so to add buttons to this page from Apple and Orange and so on, I just hit edit. See the button appears with the, with the plus sign? Touch it. New button. I'll say Apple. Text to speak. I'll say Apple. Let's put the keyboard out of the way. Um, symbol. Select symbol. You'll see how, how easy this is to set up. Apple. Oop, spell it right. Yeah, there's an apple. And um, do I want anything else fancy on there? Nope. Looks good. Okay, done. Let's go to the next one. New button. We'll just call this one orange. Text to speak. Orange. As a habit, I typically take out the, the uppercase in the first letter because if it's in a sentence, it just looks better. Put the keyboard away, select the symbol, and we'll say orange. There's your orange. Text to speak. There you go. Hit done. Apple. Orange. Now we think, hmm. I only have two fruits. And I have this huge grid here. Well, let's do two things. First, I want orange to show up before apple. So I'll pull my finger down on it until it wiggles, pop it over. And two buttons is, is looks funny on this page. So let's change the page. And all I do is I hit edit as if I was going to change a button. But instead of touching a button, up here in the left corner here, I'm going to touch on page, rows and columns. Mm, let's take that down to 2 by 2 and hit done. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so we have orange. Orange. Apple. I think that border would look different in a different color. Okay, edit, touch the button. Edit the button. Let's make the border, instead of blue, let's make it orange. And let's make that border thick. Anything else we want to do? And this one, let's make that border red. So we'll make that nice and fat too. And we'll make the border red. And it might be cool to have a green background. So let's take it to green background. As if it's in an orchard. Orange. Orange. Apple. Now we have a back button to take me back to my home page. But, hmm, I wouldn't mind having a button right here that just takes me to home, back to my main page. Okay, press edit. Touch the button. Create a new button. And we're going to call it, we'll just say home, home page. So we want it to take us home. Do you want it to speak home page when it goes there? If you do, you can type in here. Yeah, so we will. Why not? We'll just type in here home page. And let's put our keyboard away. Now, this is important. Okay, but well first we pick a symbol. So we'll pick a symbol. And I'll touch up here and I'll just type in here house. And all these houses come up and I'll choose that to represent home. And this is the important part. Actions. Speak 
So it'll say home and it'll add message. It'll put that up in the sentence bar or the message bar. I don't really want to put the word home up in the message bars if it was part of my sentence. So I'll, I'll uncheck that. But I do want it to go home. So if I didn't want it to speak, I just want it to go home. Oop, let me go back there. If I didn't want it to speak, go back to actions. I'd uncheck that. But I want it to say home. I also, if I wanted to, maybe I want to clear that whole message bar as it goes to home. I could do that too. So we'll say clear all. So it will clear everything up here. It will say home. And then it will go to the home page. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. I hit done. I hit done. I hit done. Now watch what happens when I touch that button. It should clear that. It should say home page. And it should go home. Home page. That's as far as it's gone. Simple, simple. Let's go back. Food, Food and drink. There's fruits. Fruits. Last thing. Let's have it have a button that says yes. Just yes here. Edit. Touch the button. Edit. And we'll say yes. I want it to speak yes. Put my keyboard away. Take a symbol, select symbol, and we'll say yes. Okay. So there you have it. There's a symbol. It will speak, and it'll also put that mess that words yes in the message bar. That's what it means add message. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So. Yes. Orange. Apple. Home page. Well, that's really nice. But Food and drink. Now I'm thinking. Fruits. I really don't like that background, that yellow back there. Edit. Page. Page background is yellow. Let's keep it light gray. Hit done. There, light gray. Simple. And let's go home. Should I just touch there? Home page. It's that simple.